you cooking in Bonas Kitchen and Living. In today's episode, I am making pupusa, <laughs> a very popular Salvador recipe. And uh, it happens to be one of my favorite nowadays as well. Very quick and easy and it can be made vegan, totally vegetarian even, however you like. And I will walk you through if you want to prepare vegan, just to use uh, beans or vegan cheese as a stuffing. Uh, but my favorite is beans and cheese pupusas. So let's get started. Now a friend of mine gave me amazing cranberry beans like a fresh cranberry beans but you can use any fresh or dry beans to uh, prepare the stuffing and as i said earlier only cheese pupusas can be made as well but my favorite is always beans and cheese so sometimes i use pinto beans sometimes kidney beans sometimes mix of pinto and kidney or sometimes this cranberry beans whatever beans i have on hand black beans even so you can go ahead and um, choose your favorite uh, beans Boil the beans with enough water and salt to taste. If desired, herb can be added for fragrance and flavor. I'm adding rosemary. Fresh beans take about 10 minutes only into the pressure cooker. As you can see, once boiled, these cranberry beans look like pinto beans. Drain out the cooked beans. So let's get the stuffing ready now. Season however you like. I love to add chipotle pepper paste to flavor it. Using a fork, mash the beans coarsely. Add cheese and mix. If desired, taco seasoning can be added for extra flavor. Prepare the mix and keep aside. step is to prepare the mixture uh, from masa, the corn flour basically. So I'm going to hydrate um, the corn flour. So take the flour into the mixing bowl and season with salt. Mix it and add water as needed. Normally for a cup of uh, flour it takes about three quarter um, cups of water but you can always um, add water as needed and prepare the soft dough this recipe comes together very quickly so you can make any time for dinner lunch breakfast even just going to sprinkle a little bit more water and then i'm going to allow it to rest for about 15 minutes so just cover it and let it rest Pupusas can be served simply with the salsa, but I also kind of like to prepare a salad. So I'm taking some carrots here, julienne cut. Here I have a mix of cabbage and spinach, but simply lettuce can be used. Salt and pepper. And out of my jalapeno, pickled jalapeno, I take a little bit of a vinegar, tasty vinegar and drizzle over the salad a little bit of olive oil and just toss a little bit keep it aside for about 10 minutes and salad is ready to serve over pupusas all right so the stuffing is ready let's put that on the side and coming back to the masa that we hydrated and just check it's nice and soft and ready to make pupusas i'm going to add just a little bit more water the softer it is the better uh, the pupusas will be because there will be less crack if the masa is hydrated really well so if you find out that it needs more water after allowing it to rest just go ahead and add more water if you can get hold of yellow corn flour go ahead and use that 
all right so let's start making so take about a golf size of a ball if desired take a little bit of a oil coat your hands with oil form a small ball and with your thumb create a well in the middle or flatten the dough on a wax paper using the lid fill with cheese beans mixture and pinch to close flatten the ball to create a small disc the easiest method to press and expand masa and then I'm just going to stuff stuffing inside do not stuff too much stuffing and then just bring all those edges together to form a ball and then simply flatten it out do not flatten it out too much just enough since there is no fat in um, this mixture oil helps a little bit to prepare it nice and smooth like so now let's heat up the pan and roast our pupusas so I'm going to heat up the pan on a medium to high heat in the beginning and then I'm going to roast pupusas on a low to medium because we want to make sure that it's cooked inside really well as well add oil to skillet and heat it over medium heat once hot place the pupusas and cook for four minutes per side roast pupusas on each side for about four minutes on a low to medium just make sure to bake them really well Sometimes I don't use any kind of a coconut oil or anything, just a regular oil even works and uh, sometimes they will puff even. Look at this one. This one is puffing nice here and I am ready to serve them and baking with oil is totally optional as well. I quickly whipped up some salsa. Salsa is one of my favorite to prepare anytime. It jazz it up your meal like anything. So simple, quick, but still very zesty flavor of salsa can change the whole game. And the salad that we prepared. So first I'm going to drizzle salsa. Mm, I just love it. and top it up with some vegetable salad and our pupusas are ready to be served it's quite hot steamy hot enjoyed watching this video making of pupusas please do like and comment below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for new videos every week you can follow me on facebook twitter instagram pinaris baunas kitchen is everywhere you can download baunas kitchen app totally free on your ios android and many other mobile devices you can watch me on a big tv screen using roku amazon fire or youtube app itself thanks for watching and see you soon a good Simple salsa is easy to make but full of flavor.
To me personally, party would be incomplete without zesty salsa. So today I'm making a red and green salsa. To prepare the green salsa, I prefer to take mostly green ingredients. And here I have the ingredients ready to prepare the green salsa. Take tomatillos, remove the husk from the tomatillos, wash really well. And into the food processor cup, take tomatillos, cilantro, coriander leaves, jalapeno or serrano peppers, onion, garlic, ground cumin and salt to taste, juice of a lemon or lime, and ready to blend. Let me show you the color of the salsa, zesty, tasty salsa. Here I got some corn chips to go with all the dips. Perfect to serve with tortilla chips or any kind of corn chips. Next, it's time to prepare the red salsa and here I have the ingredients ready to prepare red classic salsa. Into the food processor cup, take diced tomatoes. I prefer to use diced tomato because it helps to preserve the salsa longer. Onion, colorful peppers, cilantro, jalapeno or serrano pepper, salt, ground cumin, garlic, juice of lemon or lime, and simply ready to blend. Let me show you the colorful salsa. Look at it. I cannot resist myself. This homemade red and green salsa can be preserved up to a week into refrigerator. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please do like and comment below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for new recipe videos every week. You can also visit my website baunaskitchen.com for new recipe tips, tricks and ideas in the kitchen. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Pinterest. Baunas Kitchen is almost everywhere. You can download Baunas Kitchen apps totally free on your mobile devices like iOS, Android and many more. You can also watch me on a big TV screen using Roku, Amazon Fire or YouTube app itself if you have the smart TV. Thanks for watching and see you soon. Welcome to Bauna's Kitchen.